and Christine Rossi here in the Eco Lounge for Sundance 2017. And I'm here with the very talented Jason Ritter. He's an actor and he actually has a movie here at Sundance. So tell us about your movie. Well, the movie's yeah. called Bitch. Uh, yeah, and it's, uh, I'm getting more and more comfortable saying that title. Right? <laughs> uh, and uh, basically it's about a, 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 a mother of four, a wife, uh, who kind of snaps and starts acting like a dog and stops wearing clothes and moves into the basement. And I play ah. her sort of jerk, philanderer, husband who uh, doesn't know what to do without her. How was the response to the movie? Uh, people seemed to like it. it was, uh, they were laughing and they were surprised and they were shocked. And, but, you know, it was nice to hear an audience laugh and yeah. their response. And, and, uh, that's great. Yes. That's wonderful. Yeah. So as you know, we're here with Choices Recovery, yes. which is a rehab facility based out of uh, Michigan, actually. Oh, fantastic. And um, I always like to sit down and talk with people about, I, I know everybody in the country and the world is touched by somebody that has suffered from addiction at some point in their life or somebody in their family. So I wanted to see if you had any experience with that or if you have a story to share. Yeah, I mean, I, you know, I, I've seen terrible things. I, I had a very close friend um, who was deep, deep into, uh, um, I mean, it, basically heroin took his entire life away. And um, I, there was a, a period of time for a couple of years where I thought at some point he was not going to uh, make it. Yeah. And um, it was really scary. And he wasn't at all the the person that I recognized him to be, and luckily he uh, he went to rehab, and it's like you know I see him now, and I I cannot believe that he's he's the person that he was before, the sweet, incredible right. person. And um, once I was able to sort of talk to him about it afterwards, how little control yes. uh, over it he had, and, and um, you know, of... it's hard not to take. Uh, things personally, you know? of course, and, yeah, of course. And, you know, and not just with him, but with other people. You know, the person that you love and the person that you care about is lying to your face. Yes. And, and, it, and it's hard not to take it personally, but they're serving, a, they're the slave yes. to another slave thing to that's yeah. controlling them. And, and, um, and a lot of people don't realize that it truly is a disease and it's something that some people really cannot control. Yeah, for sure. But it's it's important to separate the addiction from the, the person. person. Yeah. And then how, like if you were going to encourage someone to take that first step, what do you think you would do to have them reach out or how you would start that process? Because it's, like you said, it's, it's so challenging. It, it's really hard. There are ways that, that work and there are ways that, you know, work for some people and not for others. But I think what's so great is places like Choices Recovery where they have customized programs for these people because not every shoe fits every person no, for sure. and every single person's issues and, and what they're going through. So I feel like Choices Recovery is such a great platform for people to go in and feel like it's something that's going to be customized to what they're going through and what they're dealing with because I think a lot of these facilities, people walk into them and they just go, okay, here you go, here you go, and then push them through like they're another number. 